for Oklahoma State with Cunningham and Likely. And they've got the physicality edge when it comes to the backcourt. Texas has that edge in the front court. And a some point loss in their conference opener against TCU. Here's Greg Brown. This is what he likes to do. It's that early heat check three, if you will. Brown gets it back at one point in the second half. And here is Cunningham bringing it up. Ramey gets the first crack at him. As Matt Coleman gets in, trying to wrestle it free. Here is Cunningham inside the paint. Doing a little early hand checking. And you know Ramey is fired up for this matchup. And Coleman with the steal. Jones to Greg Brown! It's Avery Anderson with the ball now wearing zero. Cunningham wearing two, of course. Here is Cunningham, long three. Too strong. Greg Brown with the rebound. Ramey working baseline, tough inside. And Oklahoma State wins that possession. Some contact there with Coleman. Here's Likely, and Likely is called for the trap. Shots, missed shots, some travels. But Texas has to get out and run so they can use that length and athletic ability. No one quite gotten to a rhythm he and Sims Texas will need today Cunningham loses the rock is best known for sharing it with teammates here's Kai Jones for three this is with this Texas team talked about it this week saying look I think we're a really athletic team as Ramey misses the three but if you lined up every player on both rosters and you pick guys just based on pure athleticism our most athletic guy the level Jones and I high of the group of guys that we're gonna see today on my list. I mean he runs as well as anyone in the NBA. And yeah, I don't like that by Sims. And Kai Jones, he does so well without the ball. Here he has a nice drive. Look at him split the defense. That wasn't great defense at all, but the offense was better. And then of course on the defensive end, this again is why Kai Jones. Second chance opportunity. Another freshman off the bench and Rondell Walker. Cunningham is called for the troll and do something that they're probably not as comfortable with, which is score a lot. How did Coleman thread the ages of this game? They're attacking the hoop. Now eight of the 11 points for the Cowboys inside the paint. Well, and the game becomes different without Cunningham on the floor making those shots because he has the capability, uh, the ability to do it. 14 total three-point attempts in the previous two games. That is what Greg Brown can really do. Get to the hoop, misses twice, third, do something to find your role to earn playing time. It can't just be the seventh best dude. It has to be the next guy that's willing to have a role. And with what he can do, they feel like they, both coaches feel like they can get more out of their big Sims and Boone. To Cunning for Oklahoma State. And whenever you're a guard dominant team, I played with one in the NBA and Isaiah Thomas and, and Joe Dumars, you want to have some kind of presence inside. Craig Brown, how about it? 15 to 9 Oklahoma State lead Jones for three Kai Jones with the rebound and he's fouled And Andrew Jones makes it a three-point game. He's getting healthy, right? He had the offseason uh, hip surgery it's Just all part of the process of him getting back So as close to 100% physically as you can Cunningham too strong on the three Here comes Jones against Cunningham Quick passes here to Greg Brown, open court. You see Cade again is off of the ball, and now he's a receiver, almost like a point forward. Working on Coleman, it's short. Tied up at 15. Jones for three. No. Greg Brown, the rebound. And called for the foul, a little hook action. Yeah, I thought was... There is his rebound. Oh, that's yeah, a hook. Bryce Williams. Yeah, he he hooked him. Right call? He, yep. Right. They can get from him offensively is huge. Makes Texas pay for not stopping the ball. Kai Jones lead over Oklahoma State. What is the Big 12 opener for the Texas Longhorns? Oklahoma State 0-1 to start conference play. Cunningham inside. 
He got hit, made the bucket, chance for a three-point play. Size, strength, athleticism on display. Yeah, I talked about it earlier, Law, about him scoring at multiple levels. Here you see he receives the ball in the corner. The nice lefty jump hook that in that case uses his length to shoot the ball the greatest defensive effort No, and and when Hepa is isolated like that, it's not a fair fight. So he's typically got to get help That's a tough guard for him against anybody Ramey short back to your point though on Cunningham. Well Cunningham. He just knows how to play his decision-making is exceptional typically doesn't force things if anything, you would hope at some time, sometimes that he's a little oh. more aggressive. Oh, missed ever. Horns take the lead back. Anderson get Anderson. Texas is doing such a good job with guys who are coming off the bench, such as Williams, as on this list. Yeah, and sorry to cut you off there, Lowell, but uh, the the, uh, the let's keep that in mind. That's the aggregate board. I guarantee you that NBA teams individually, that board looks different, possibly with the exception of Cunningham. NBA on NBA there. And here's Anderson working on Jones. We got four out, none in. Keep the floor open. Nice fake by Cunningham. OSU has come with waves of aggression in attacking the boards. That was just a man rebound. Kai Jones misses the wide open three. The push to Cunningham. He falls over. Tried to save it. Ends up with Jericho Sims in his possession. Under a minute left to play here in the first half. This time Jones gives up the three. Andrew Jones, the leading scorer for the Longhorns with 10. Make that 12. AJ Warren has gotten more comfortable the more the season has gone on. Today, you're seeing the full arsenal of what he can give this Texas ball club, particularly on the offensive end. There's Bryce Williams. Trying to scoop it past Kai G. Their first in-conference big test to start the season. No good on two outside shots there for Oklahoma State. Andrew Jones leading the way for the Longhorns with 12. Greg Brown has two fouls, brought Cunningham with three fouls. Good find it. You'll take it. You'll live with yep. whatever OSU does from beyond the arc. They're only shooting about and they're watching a video. And I think that stoppage has helped OSU in that Texas has not been able to find a rhythm. Ramey gets a hand up against Cunningham. Sims with the rebound. Yeah, and these shots show up as passive. And is the way I see it for OSU. They were a lot more aggressive. I like seeing Sims go for the save ball in that instance. Shaka Smart has spent a lot of time talking to this team about the way they start the second half, beginning of the season. And that's his first bucket from outside. If you're Texas, you literally don't have to run out and close. And scoring the ball as well. I mean, he was the primary scorer at the beginning of the season, leaving it up for Greg Brown. The game winning streak dating back to last season. They actually did get to play in the Big 12 tournament. And a shot clock violation. Not a tough way to live. The right guy, you want shooting it, but that's a tough way to live if you're Texas, having to make threes all night. Anderson passes it up. Inside the paint, of course, Moncrief rejected by Kai Jones. Cunningham will try to save it. Andrew Jones picks it. When you initiated the inbound pass, the offense should have started right then. Coleman, great job setting that off to free up Greg Brown for three. Brown's going to get the credit with that shot, but Coleman entirely orchestrated that. Cowboys trying to respond with some muscle. Moncrief cannot convert. For the first stop in a long time by Texas under the basket. Brown is heating up and high-stepping, looking like his dad. Playing that safety spot for Texas football back in the day. Showing the vert as well, and it's a 9 zip run for the Longhorns. Well, the young fella, you got to find him early. He loves to get it up. He knocks one, and he high steps to the timeout. Boy, is he hot. And such a different comparison 
His role on this lineup compared to Cunningham at Oklahoma State as Kai Jones takes it away. Gray Brown gets to come along and fit in. Cunningham has to be the guy for Oklahoma State. Yeah, it's, just, it's hard to compare him because the roles are totally different. Not only does he have to be the guy, I mean, he's a, he's a point guard. Oh, and a good wrestling job there by Kansas, both in finishing around the basket, but also accepting the challenge of these Texas bigs. Jones keeps it alive to Brown. Brown driving, and he's fouled, and find himself some buckets. Coleman staying with him. Here comes the double team. He's got to defer out of that. Anderson's in trouble. Five on the shot clock. Here's Cunningham. A good feed to Boone, but that's going to be a travel in Williams, and it's a 51-42 lead, a 13-zip run. Oklahoma State needs an answer, and they need it now. Here's Cunningham to the paint, blocked by Brown. Brown is winning this head-to-head -head matchup. Here's Donovan Williams turning the corner to Kai Jones. No, but a whistle as Caleb Boone went up to try to swat that one. That a nice challenge by Boone, but how about Williams and the presence that he's bought, brought? A nice block. This is this is a lot for Kay. You have to drive into those that many people. He also doesn't have Jones would be the guy that I run things through on a consistent basis. Late game, he's taking the big shot. Yeah, it, late game, yeah. Coleman keeps it alive. Kai Jones! He was flying off during practice, slowing things down. Cunningham on Brown. Five on the shot clock. Does Coleman recognize? Two on the clock. Does he get it off? He does. No good. Brown with the follow. In my notes, durability. Because Greg Brown just did something to his shoe or foot. It looked like he was slightly injured. Comes yeah. back and makes a big time play and shakes off whatever happened to him physically. Great point. Ramey is lead despite the fact that Courtney Ramey is 0 for 6 from the field. Has not scored. Here's Cunningham. Size mismatch over Coleman. A lot of guys have stepped up around Cage. Stepped them in this game. Nice touch there by Greg Brown. Brown is up to 20 points. Back to back double doubles for Greg Brown. First time in his career he's done that in back to back games. Third on the season. Also had one in the season opener. Anderson loses a handle cut. Remember, there was a lot of zone being played by OSU. Not so much here in the second half because of Texas's ability to knock down the three ball. Cunningham going baseline on Brown. Ramey got a piece of him. No foul called. And Cunningham had a great case for an and one right there. Did not get the call. Well, one of the measurements in, at the next level is shoulder whip. And watch... Cade used these shoulders to create a little bit of space. You see where Brown ended up on the other side of the lane? That's in this matchup with NBA potential. Yeah, you you, you beat me to the punch because I see perhaps three, maybe even four guys. And even more than that, that will be playing professionally somewhere around the world. Oh, yeah. Good move by Cunningham and draws the whistle. This has been that threshold that Oklahoma State really has not been able to overcome in the second half. Gets to about eight points, and Texas with the answer. That one was low. Donovan Williams with the drive. Good defense there by Cunningham. Here comes Anderson. Does he take advantage of the numbers? Cunningham wants the three. He's fouled. Greg Brown. Kate Cunningham for OSU. Survey in this defense for Texas, and I've seen it a million times where great players start to figure things out, not only in the course of a season, but in some cases in the course of a game. Defenses throw different things at you, and then they just start to recognize where the defense is coming from, where their people are, and where they can get buckets. And we're seeing that happen before our eyes. Texas protecting the lead. Let's see if they stay. With that aggressive approach, Jones for three. Jones! 
Some of those key guys who shoot from beyond the arc, Texas now are extremely comfortable. They've got to force Texas to pass and put the ball on the floor. Coleman putting the body on the line, a smile there from a man that just drew a charge. And here is Andrew Jones tying his career high. Okay, well, got caught, giving him too much space. And then, of course, Coleman using is the Anderson almost lost it. Here's Cunningham with the moves on Raymond. And just willing his way to the bucket and one yet again for Kate Cunningham. Yeah, in some cases, you, you don't necessarily like to see a player handle the ball that much, but he's so good off the dribble with the ball. He's so short-handed. Sure he's also... Keith Bogan with the shot to win it for Oklahoma State. Jones cannot connect. Six-point game here. He loses the handle. Got it back to Cunningham. Coleman tried to keep it alive. Jones trying to pick the pocket. Brown touched it. Looks like he touched it, but no. It's off Oklahoma State. And the Longhorns with the basketball. Yeah, I didn't see who it would have hit. For Oklahoma State. Looks like Brown. Oh, okay. Right at the last second there, Cunningham got another piece of it. It did initially go off Brown. Under two minutes here. Ramey stays in bounds. Yeah, and Texas can't go into a free run. They've got to stay aggressive. They want a chance to win this. Moncrief on the defense against Brown. And Moncrief with the foul. Minute left. Cunningham dumps it to Likely. Another pass, but Likely gets it back. Anderson behind the back. The drive. Brown says, get out of my kitchen. What you like about the latter part of this game is the stars are stepping up huge. How about the help side defense there? And the big fella Brown showing the many ways he can impact the game. I'm not sure. Oklahoma State was not mindful of the shot clock. They had a violation. Andrew Jones tips it into the hands of Cunningham. The deep three, Cunningham, too strong. Brown with the rebound, adding to his double-double numbers and a foul on Oklahoma State with 37 seconds left. Yeah, and Brown has almost taken over this game without necessarily scoring, just his impact. I mean, this rebound is almost anyone's. He goes and gets it. And that's the difference. 35 seconds left for Oklahoma State. Down five. Brown, another rejection. What do they call that? Now they're going to call this a goal bucket. Yep. The goal and a big one for Oklahoma State. So a goal tend is the call. Ooh. What do you think? Uh, right call. Uh, close. So Anderson fouls Coleman. Yeah. With 20 was, or he was just being a good sport as he was subbed out of the game. Corner three. Bucket when he needed to. The senior from Tampa, former Ole Miss Rebel, hitting the three. Effort and execution at both ends of the floor. Huge shot here for Brown and hits it. So Oklahoma State needs two buckets. Here's Williams. Forcing the three, cannot get it to go. Rebound pulled down by, you guessed it. He carries himself, but it has been two young guys developing into stars here.